hello guys welcome to my next video for msc mathematics so in this video i am going to by to telling about relations okay in the previous videos i have already uh, given you the notes for set theory functions and now in this video i'll be uh, going to give you the notes for relation i have already started uploading questions answer for after algebra so you can check those so already upload i have already started that so before understanding relation we have to know what is ordered pair what is ordered pair and what is cartesian product of set okay so what is ordered pair these are very important things before understanding relation okay even when you will be going to uh, uh, understand topology these ordered pairs are also required because without knowing these ordered product pairs and cartesian product of sets you will not understand what is relation okay even uh, for abstract algebra topology okay real analysis this ordered pair are required over there you will learn new things like closed set closed sets open sets etc etc okay so let's start what is ordered pair the ordered pair ab is an ob uh, is an object okay associated with the individual object a and b in which the order of writing a and b is essential to the uh, to the identification of a and b why because <coughs> freezing and melting those are not same thing so you are when you have ice you are melting it to water okay and when you have uh, water and you are freezing it to ice these two two processes not same okay so identification of the order is a essential thing that is why written writing a and b is essential to the identify of order in which the order of writing the order pair a b is an object associated with the individual object a and b okay individual visual object a and b in which the order of writing a and b order of writing a and b is essential to the identify to identify uh, a and b okay to identify the pair a and b we cannot say that a uh, the ordered pair ab is equal to ordered pair b okay because freezing and melting are not the same thing okay so therefore therefore unless a equal to b okay therefore unless a equal to b ab and ba are distinct okay ab and ba are distinct ordered pairs this is of course in contrast to the set ab and ba in set we know that if uh, two elements belong to set ab then we can also write it as ba okay so but for ordered pairs this is not the same thing that i have given you example as melting and freezing are not the same thing okay you are melting ice into what you are melting the ice and it's it's converting into water you are freezing the water it is converting into ice so these two things are not the same thing okay thus two ordered pairs a b and c d are equal if and only if a c equal to and b a equal to c and b equal to b that means a b a b and c d are equal when it will be a b and c d will be equal when the first pair first order the first element of the ordered pair a and c and the second uh, element of the order pair b and d are equal only then we can say that a b and c d are equal okay now what is cartesian product of set the cartesian product of two sets a and b denoted by a cartesian product b is the set of all ordered pairs okay set of all ordered pairs a b such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b okay for an example we can see that if we have a set okay if we have a set 1 2 and 3 and b equal to x y z so what will be the cartesian product 1 x 1 y 1 z 2 x 2 y 2 z okay 3 x 3 y 3 z like this okay so that will be the cartesian product of the set every, every you, you see that what is this, what is the definition the cartesian product of two sets a b denoted by a cartesian product b is the set of all ordered pairs okay ordered pairs a b such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b so here you can see if we have two sets one two three and x y z then we can write one x one y one z then two x 
2y, then 2z, then 3x, then 3y, then 3z. Okay. When also you can write. Also you can write. Then also you can write x1. Okay. Also you can write x1. Then y1. Okay. Then z1. Okay. This this will also be ordered pair. Okay. Then x2. Okay. So like this it will be continued. Right. Like this this will be continued. Okay. So this is called Cartesian product of, of sets. Okay. All ordered pair. All ordered pair of the two sets. If we have two sets then what what will be the ordered pair of two sets? So there is a formula of understanding that uh, how many elements will be there and uh, will be there in the Cartesian product of the sets. I will let you know uh, that later. So for now just understand what is Cartesian product. So if we have two sets A and B then how can we write the elements? We can write the elements like 1x, one 1z, one one 2x, 2y. These are all ordered pairs, right? You have no, you understand what is ordered pair. Now these are all ordered pairs. So, so if you, if you see, we have write, we have writing all the ordered pairs. Okay. So in this way, it, it can be built. In the Cartesian product can be built. Okay. Now. What is a relation? A relation between says and A and B is a subset of A Cartesian product B. Okay. A relation between says A to B is a subset of Cartesian product of A and B. Denoted as R subset of A Cartesian product B. We write A relation B if A B the ordered pair A B belongs to R and say that A is R related to B or that B is A are relative okay in in set builder form how how we write it we write it like a cartesian product b then ordered pair a b okay uh, such that such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b okay and r will be the subset of a b. now let us suppose two we have two sets 9 16 and 25 okay and then b 5 4 okay 3 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 okay 5 4 3 and minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so here the relation is is that the elements of a are the square of the elements of b if you see set a and b you can see that if we if i square 5 then it will be 25 okay if i square 4 then it will be 16 if i square 3 then it will be 9 right so here so what is the relation between these two sets? This relation between these two sets are that the every element, if, I mean, that if we do the square of elements of distinct elements, or you can say elements of uh, B, like if you square 5, it will get, we will get 25. So there is a relation of square over here, right? 5, even if we square minus 5 we will get another again we will get 25 right again we will get 25 so this is a square this is it's a relation of square it's a, there is a the, the, the relation exists between a and b right again if we doing uh, the square of 4 we will get 16 if we do square of minus 4 again we will get 16 if we do square of 3 then we will get 9 so here the relation is that the elements of a are the square of the elements of b in set builder form how can we write that we write right like this that a r a b ordered pair such that such that a is the square of b okay a belongs to a b belongs to b so okay and how can we write the relation relation can be written like this okay you see this is the ordered pair right we cannot write like i mean for cartesian product 9 9 and 16 can be a ordered ordered pair okay for Cartesian product, sorry, uh, for Cartesian product, 9 and then 4 can be a ordered pair, okay, but for relation, we cannot write 9 and 4 because they are don't, there is no ex relation exists between 9 and 4. The relation exists as a square, right? So, 
or when we when we'll be writing relation then we have to find the we have to build the ordered pair in such a way that there is a relation okay so for 9 and 3 there is a relation for 9 and minus 3 there is a relation 16 4 relation 16 minus 4 relation 5 25 relation okay 5 minus 5 25 there is a relation but for mm, 16 and 5 there will be a no relation for, but for Cartesian product 16 and 5 will come when you create the Cartesian product during that time this will be this will be one of the ordered pairs right for Cartesian products of A and B but for relation of A and B this will this will not be not not to will this will not be a product pair because there is no relation between 16 and 5 right there is no relation between 16 and 5 okay and if you see you can see that if we do the Cartesian product, then what will happen? If we do the Cartesian product for these two sets, then what what will what we will get? We can we will get nine five, right? Nine four, right? Nine three, and so on, right? So on. So now, if you see the relation, what what are there? Only the related elements are building the order pair right so so what does that mean that means the relation r okay is a subset of the cartesian product of en right this relation r this relation r this relation r is the cartesian product of the is the subset of the cartesian product a and b okay now what is domain codomain and range of a relation the sets of all the first elements of the order pair in a relation is the domain the first element means this is these are the first element uh, this is the set a set b so these this are the first element these are the first elements these are the first elements so so domain of a relation is the first element all of all the order pairs like here domain will be 9 16 and 25 right what are the codomains the whole set b in a relation from a to b is called codomain okay that means the, all the elements of set b will be the codomain okay so here what will be the codomains codomain will be 3 4 5 then minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 right this will be the codomain and what is the range what will be the range what will be the range all the mapped elements in the codomain through the relation okay all the mapped elements in the codomain through the relation is the range that is all the second component of the relation all the second component of the relation so here we can see that 9 is mapped to 3 minus 3 16 is mapped to 4 minus 4 and 25 is mapped to 5 minus 5 okay so this is domain this is codomain so we can write this is domain this is codomain and all the mapped elements all the mapped elements are or all the Second elements in the order pair. What were the second elements of the order pair? That was mi minus three, three, four, minus four, five, minus five. So this will be the range. Now, what are the types of relation? There are nine types of relation. Empty re that, that those are empty relation, universal relation, identity relation, transitive relation, reflexive relation, symmetric relation, in equivalence relation, anti-symmetric relation, and inverse relation. Okay, these are the types of relation. What is empty relation? If no element of set A is related to any other element of set B. For an example, we, we, if, we, if you consider a group of students in a cricket coaching center, okay, then, then uh, the sister, then if we have a relation like this, R, A, B, such that A and B are sisters, that will be an empty relation because the on the coaching center only for coaching center is only for boys okay they, they are, it is not for girls so if we have a relation like a b uh, such that a and b are uh, the sisters then the, such kind of relation never exists in the in a coaching center of boys okay so that is called empty relation okay and what is universal relation a relation R is said to be universal if every element of set A is related to every other element of set B. For the, for the same cricket coaching center, okay, uh, if we have the height, if we have the difference of height of 
each of the guys okay not less than 6 inches okay not less than 6 inches then that will be a relation for for all of these student because none of the student i mean the difference in height for none of this student is less than 6 inches okay so it is a universal relation so we can say that for every even uh, let us suppose you have 10 books and the difference of price for all of these books is less than 30 rupees okay then that will be an universal relation that will be a sorry that will be a universal relation okay so what is identity relation a relation r is said to be identity relation if if it comes only if if it contains only the ordered pairs where every element of set a is related to only itself okay so what is identity relationship a relationship r is called is said to be an identity relationship if it contains only the ordered pairs where every element of set a is related to only itself okay and ordered pair will be like that so for an example so if you take an example if we have a if we have two sets okay if we have two sets If we have two say if we have a set right a equal to a b c then if we have a relation like a a b b b c c c then that will be an identity relation okay that will be an identity relation okay now what is reflexive relation what is reflexive relation reflexive relation is like identity relation but for reflex reflexive is always also like identity relation but for reflexive uh, relationship you can have the ordered pairs not only the identity pairs right these are the identity pairs so except the identity pair you can have other 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 pairs also okay uh, for an example we can say if we have a set a equal to a uh, which has elements 1 2 then 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 1 all of these will be contained in the reflexive relation and all are related you can see that all of all are related right all are related so in such a case we say the relation is reflexive okay now what is symmetric relation a relation are on a set such that a1 a2 a3 are elements of a and if a2 a1 a2 the ordered pair belongs to r and also a2 a1 belongs to R right a1 a2 belongs to R here basically you can see that a1 a2 ordered pair and a2 a1 ordered pair are same so are actually both are belongs to both both belongs to R okay both belongs to R okay and if a1 a2 belongs to R and also a2 a1 belongs to R or if you consider the natural numbers if you consider the uh, set of all natural numbers then that will be a symmetric relation okay we can say that if x is a brother or you can say if x is brother of y then y will be brother of x okay so for all natural numbers a b ordered pair if a equal to b such that a equal to b okay Now what is transitive suppose a equal to b and b equal to c then we have a equal to c so okay what is transitive relationship transitive relationship is like that if we have a equal to b and b equal to c then we can write a equal to c then we can write a equal to c so a relation R on set A such that the elements A1, A2, A3 belongs to A. Okay. Elements which belongs to A and A1 and A2 belongs to R. A2 and A3 belongs to R. Then we say A1 and A3 belongs to R, which implies that A1 and A3 belongs to R. So this is we say the relation is transitive. Okay. Now, what is equivalence relation? A relation R on set A if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. All, all natural numbers, set of all natural numbers, we can say the 
relation is for all set of all natural relation is symmetric okay symmetric reflexive and transitive and what is anti symmetric relation the relation r a b okay such that a less than b on the set of whole numbers because when a, because where every whenever because whenever a less than equals to b or b less than equals to a and b less than equals to a then we always have a equal to b thus that is whenever a b and b are elements of r such that a equal to b okay such that a equal to b what is inverse relation the inverse of a relation is obtained by interchanging the elements of each ordered pair okay each ordered pair of the relation like if we have a uh, relation x y y z and z x the inverse will be y x z y and x z okay so this is all about a uh, very brief video about uh, relations okay so it, this is a very brief um, a video about relation you can take screenshot of all these pages one by one okay and can keep with you because i have already told you to know the abstract algebra topology and set you should have very good knowledge in function set and uh, relation so that is why i have impart i have i have imparted these notes or you can say i am giving you the notes so that you can understand all of those things keep these things at least at, at least these things are required at least this mini, the, this much of knowledge this is minimum minimum knowledge for say function and relation okay this is minimum knowledge and this much knowledge is required to understand those things okay so that is why i am giving you this otherwise i will start it even i have started uploading the um, question answers for abstract algebra you can check in my channel and i'll be uploading more at least there will be 100 question answers for each of the subjects for semester one okay for abstract algebra for topology for real analysis complex analysis and differential equation so take this screenshot of all of the pages one by one and you can uh, take print out of all of these pages and pin up these pages and that will help you to understand all the topics for abstract algebra topology real analysis differential like a, a real analysis complex analysis and differential equation okay so keep taking the screenshots that is why i am turning over the pages so that you can take screenshot one by one okay thank you for watching please subscribe my channel because i am i have already started uploading the question answers for abstract algebra in my next video i will be uploading more uh, question and answer for abstract algebra